Today, I'm going to show you one of the best free budgeting apps on the market. I'm going to walk you through Empower's budgeting feature and talk about the things I like and the things I don't like about it, because free always has a price. Let's get into it. Now, if you aren't familiar with Empower, they offer a free personal dashboard where you can track your net worth, review your investments across all of your accounts in one place, and also budget and review all of your spending. The personal dashboard was first created and owned by Personal Capital before Empower acquired Personal Capital in 2023. While most people think of Empower as a net worth or investment tracker, they have many free financial tools built into their platform, including a budgeting feature. It can be a really helpful tool, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use it then I'll share my thoughts. So once you log in to Empower, you can easily navigate to the budgeting tool app using the main navigation bar at the top of the screen. You will find the budgeting tool under the banking menu option. Click on budgeting and it will bring you to this tool. The default screen that you will automatically go to will be an overview of your spending for this month. And if you're just creating your account with Empower, you'll want to first add all of your credit cards and bank accounts to the dashboard so that it can summarize all of your transactions. Without your accounts linked, this tool will not be worthwhile. To do that, you can click on the plus symbol on the left-hand side of the screen. You will then follow the prompts to add the account. And once you've added the account, it'll show up on the left-hand side of the screen and will show your balance. But the real power is that it automatically takes all of your transactions and brings the activity into the budgeting feature. Empower will automatically categorize all of the transactions based on the information about the vendor. You can see here that the transactions that are in this demo account are summarized by categories in their budgeting feature at the top of the screen. One really cool feature that they've added recently is the ability to batch update transactions based on vendors. Now you've always had the ability to update the categories one by one. So for example, if Costco gets categorized as general merchandise, but you want it grouped into groceries, you can manually change each transaction. Now you can even set a rule to always categorize a vendor as a particular category and update all past transactions. How cool is that? I've used this tool for about 11 years to review all of my spending. I quickly scan through the transactions, maybe update a few categories here and there, and then look at the totals at the top. You can also change the date range for the budget app to be anything you want. The most common timeframes that I use are this month, last month, and this year. Sometimes I will also refer back to last year as well if I want to quickly compare spending from this year to last year. The graphic on the left will show you how much you have spent compared to your preset monthly budget. An often overlooked feature is the ability to set a monthly budget or spending target. To do that, you click on the little pin or pencil icon in the graphic. This will make a screen pop up and will allow you to update the monthly budget amount. The benefit of setting this amount is that it then allows you to compare your actual spending to your target amount, regardless of the time frame you set in the date fields. An important note is that this is not a traditional budgeting app in the sense that you can set prescriptive amounts or spending targets for individual categories. This overall monthly budget is the only area where you can set spending targets, and it has to be the same for each month of the year. This is a limitation if you're looking for more robust budgeting features, but for me, the real value has been to track all of my spending in one place. A few other things that are worth mentioning is the ability to drill down into specific categories. So if you're looking at your total spending and want to review individual transactions of mortgages, you can click on that category to see the details. When you're done looking at the detail, you can then navigate back using the breadcrumbs in the top left of the budgeting tool. And one other important tool is the ability to filter out specific accounts. For example, you could have one to two business accounts and want to review only your personal spending, or it could be that you want to review spending on a particular credit card. I personally don't use this feature very often, but it is nice to have it available. Now that I've finished the demo, let me share with you my thoughts on Empower's budgeting tool. First and foremost, as I mentioned earlier, this is not a traditional budgeting app. It's not very robust. It has very few features and does not have all the bells and whistles of some of the other paid budgeting apps out there. From what I've seen, there are two types of budgeting apps, ones that are reflective and others that are looking forward. 
A forward-looking budgeting app such as YNAB or Monarch Money will help you prescribe spending limits for various categories. They will help you to make money decisions on a daily basis. Empower's budgeting app does not do this for you. However, for people like us who did prescriptive budgeting for a long time and have a good handle on our spending, doing the look back on our spending is enough. Empower does a great job at offering a central place to track and categorize your spending. And if that's what you need, it's incredibly useful and easy to use. The one gripe that I have is that the connections with specific accounts can be finicky and sometimes just don't connect. I've only had an issue with a couple of accounts in 11 years and they usually resolve themselves in one to two months time. It appears to be a technical issue with the connection that Empower uses and there's not much that Empower can do to avoid these type of issues. It almost always appears to be the result of a recent change with a bank account. This means that there are periods of times where I don't get a full look at my spending by going to this one-stop shop. And when this happens, I need to log into that individual account to make sure I'm not missing anything. I've used it for 11 years and overall I've been really happy with it. If you want to give it a try, I'll include an affiliate link in the description below. Again, it's free to use and using the link below is a great way to support the channel at no cost to you. And if you want to learn more about how we use Empower, including other great features, you can check out this video where I go into more depth on our use of it. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy the journey.